this morning we wanted to take the opportunity to in the midst of challenges and pressures to give some sense of hope and strength. Well, on behalf of the Second Baptist Worship Center, I'm J.L. Smith, the senior pastor of the Second Baptist Worship Center. Uh, first off, I want to make an appeal to the entire uh, listening uh, and viewing audience that if you would be so kind as to be obedient to our government and recognize that these are uh, difficult days and it's time for us to follow the mandates uh, of our uh, communities uh, so that we make sure that we are safe and, and continuing to do what we need to do uh, to make sure that our communities are better off. So I appeal to both our congregation as well as our community, uh, our nation, and the world at large to make sure that we do a voluntary quarantine. And that just means to make sure uh, that you are in your home safe with your families uh, so that there is no further spreading of this dreaded disease. As it has been stated, we indeed are at war and we must recognize that war mandates that we indeed should battle the enemy. The way for our battling that enemy, of course, is to maintain our space, our privacy, uh, so that somehow we don't continue to spread the dreaded disease. Our concern, first off, of course, here at Second Baptist, is the concern that we have for our congregation. And so to our congregation, thank you, first off, for being here and listening in and watching carefully uh, so that you are made aware of what's happening uh, in your community. You know that there is indeed a quarantine that suggests that you should stay uh, in, your, in your homes, in your communities, and we, again, ask you to be obedient. Uh, also, uh, we would ask that you would make sure that you pray uh, for this congregation, that you would ask God to continue to bless us, to be with us, uh, the community as well, and we ask that you will also lift up prayers for our nation, for its leadership, asking God to give them the wisdom and guidance to do what needs to be done to make sure that we are all safe and prepared for what is transpiring throughout our community. There is indeed a passage of scripture that I would like to share with you uh, this morning. And it comes from the Old Testament, just a couple of verses, uh, because I deemed it necessary uh, to find a passage of scripture that might be helpful uh, as we are facing challenging days. It is from the Old Testament, it is from one of the minor prophets, it's from the book of Zephaniah. It is in the third chapter, verses 16 and 17. And therein you'll find these words. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. And I thought that this was a passage of scripture that was so apropos for the challenges that the people are facing. There is no doubt that Zephaniah Indeed, this minor prophet has had some harsh words to share with a nation who has been rebellious, a nation who has had challenging times. And for me, it became one of those passages of scripture that suggested that God is rejoicing. And even here, the theological suggestion is that God is singing. Can you imagine just for a moment that there is a time in the life of God's people when God is singing? Uh, the passage of scripture that led up to this uh, uh, pericope has suggested that Israel had been hard-headed. They had been individuals who had not adhered to what God had, uh, had laid out for them. And as a result, they'd gone through challenging times. I would not dare suggest that we are facing what we are facing as a result of our disobedience. But the actual truth is that there are times in our personal lives 
when we indeed are experiencing what we're experiencing because of our disobedience. The good news is that God loves us so much that even when we have been disobedient, even when we are challenged, God still loves us. It's a good thing to know when God sings. And in this passage, the scripture said that God was rejoicing and he was singing. He was rejoicing at this climatic moment in this biblical text because indeed Israel had learned its lesson and it turned back to God. Perhaps this is a good time for us to turn away from our disobedience, a time for us to turn back to the God who created and sustained us. This is a good time to listen carefully for God's voice as he is attempting to sing. Would you join me in prayer as we ask for God to bless us as we go through these challenging times? Father, we are eternally grateful that even when we've blown it, when we've messed up, when we've gone left and should have gone right, that you still love us. Yes. We confess our sins and ask you in the name of Christ to have mercy upon our souls. We do lift up before you the concerns that we have for so many people. There is so much suffering that's going on right now. So many lives have been lost. And so God, we petition you in the name of Christ Jesus to bless, to strengthen, to encourage, and to bring about healing in the lives of individuals who are suffering. For those who've already lost lives, God, we lift up their families before you and ask you to give them peace and comfort in the midst of their challenges. We pray not only for uh, this segment of, of the body of Christ, but we pray for the universal church, that you might bless each and every individual who calls upon your name. God, would you continue to love? Would you continue to embrace? And would you help us to seek your face? Well, we recognize that when we seek your face, we can receive healing, we can receive strength, and we will acknowledge your presence. Be with us now. Bless the leadership of our great nation. Help them, O oh God, to seek your guidance and to search for your truth. And when we find it, God, help us indeed to rejoice while you sing. It's in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray. And we do thank you. Amen. 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 Yeah. I would once again remind our communities and our church members to be obedient. This is not vacation time. This is not time to get out and to visit and to uh, spend time in other places. This is time, uh, literally, to spend time with your families at home, to stay there protected and safe, not bringing other germs in, but recognizing this is a time to hunger down and to stay at home. It moves me to the point where I have to literally make an appeal both to our congregation and to our audience, our viewing audience. And this says to me that while we are busy going about staying at home and trying to remain protected, the church still has to go on. The church has needs. The church has needs in such a way that only the body of Christ can support it. So it is this pastor's appeal to its congregation as well to its viewing audience to take a moment and prepare yourselves to give in support of the body of Christ locally. This is indeed the Second Baptist Worship Center, and we have a number of ways that you can financially support the ministries of this church. And in just a few moments, Minister Jasmine Butler will come, and she will make an appeal to you and share with you how that is to be done. You can actually uh, do, do this giving of the Second Baptist Worship Center via uh, Mobile Excel, via uh, MasterCard, Visas. Uh, but again, we appeal to you to continue to support this church financially and aid us as much as you possibly can that we might continue to be that vibrant church that God has called us to be. Minister Butler, if you'll come at this time. Good morning. You can get um, in various ways. We will have someone here um, up until about noon if you would like to come by and drop off um, your tithes, offerings, or gift. 
Um, also, you can call our, our church and they'll be happy to take your information over the phone. Um, and the phone number is 610-384-2999. Or you can text your tithes, offering, or, or donation. Um, you can text this number, 28950. And in the text, you will you should type SB Give. SB Give. Text that to 28950 and follow the prompts, and it will guide you um, to be able to give your donation. Um, we do thank you, and we all know that God loves a cheerful gift. God bless you. Amen. Please forgive me, I neglected to inform you that beside being able to do the MasterCard, the Visa card, you can actually call the church, as it has been stated, at 610-384-2999. And when you do that, you can talk to our financial advisors, and they will give you uh, the avenue whereby you can give them your card number, and you can give to the church through that venue. If, in fact, you are local, and you would like to donate for the ministries of the Second Baptist Worship Center. There will be one of our financial representatives here on site today until 12 noon, and they will be here. You can come by, drop off your offering to make sure, again, that the body of Christ locally continues on. At this time, I'm going to uh, turn it into the hands of our video people and they will share with us. Bless you. Will not. Can you play some music for us just a moment? Because in a few moments, we will have a video coming from our archives uh, that will share with our audience uh, at this particular time. Bless you. And while they make arrangements for that, just as a reminder, the address of the church, those of you who are going to drop off your offering, it is 857 Lumber Street in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. 857 Lumber Street, Coatesville. Is the video prepared? Church is still running on regular hours throughout the week, right? No. What's the hours? The of hours of worship at the church? No. The no. Work stand it will. Our business hours. Our business hours still. Throughout the week. Throughout the week. Yeah. Um, the business hours here at the church will be Tuesday through Friday, and it will be nine until three. And again, that's Tuesday through Friday. We are preparing our video. 